Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing about the topic method overloading. So very first let us see the definition of method overloading, thereafter we will discuss with one example. So methods with same name but with different signature is said to be method overloading. Here different signature can be number of parameters, I repeat number of parameters or type of parameters, I mean to say data type of parameters. So let me take out a class calculation. Class name is calculation. Let me take out one method public void add and one more method public void add. Here you see within the same class I have written the methods same but it is showing error. The reason behind is method names can be same but signature also should not be same. I mean to say at least the parameter count should be changed and see here there is no error you are seeing here. And guys I can create one more method again like public void. Add. And this time I can give two parameters. And here you see parameters can be of different type. I mean to say integer or float or anything. Okay. So assume now I have two add methods with single parameter but both are having same type of parameter. If you make one parameter type as changed and here float is written and you see the errors are not there. So the method overloading definition is a single class within the single class multiple methods can be there like add, add, add with the same name but here do remember the number of parameters must be different. They, whether it may be the count of parameters or type of parameters. I repeat here the type is integer, float or anything else. So now the question is how to access that. So let me write down one statement for output. Here I am writing hello and here I am writing I am trying to print A. And here let me change out little bit. Let me write down int a comma int b. And here system dot out dot print ln a plus b. What is the duty of first add method? First add method is just printing the hello message. The second add method takes the input parameter of integer type and displays that value. And the third add method takes two parameter values into A and B and displays the addition of their number. And let me go to the one more class here which is having the main method and let me access the methods or overloaded methods which are available in a class calculation. So we know that in order to access the properties of a class, I repeat properties in the sense here can be methods or data fields. So as we don't have any fields like this in DA like this in ID or something else as of now in this particular class we are having only methods as we are taking the definition of our example of method overloading then I will be taking or uh, explaining with the help of only methods. So I am going to another class here and very first to access this, to access these properties, we need to have an object for the class calculation. Let me create the object. Calculation z equals to new calculation. And object is created. See here. The calculation is the class name. For that I have created the object and z dot add. Very first I am calling a z.add method and guess out of these three methods which is going to re respond. Add with zero parameters, add with single parameters, add with two parameters. Obviously 
add with zero parameters is going to respond why because you are not sending any value here in place of parameters and the second time z dot add and this time i'm sending 10 value and see we out of these three functions again which is going to respond add method or function with single parameter is going to respond as you are sending single value as parameter and one more z dot add of 10 comma 20 so this time add method with two parameters is going to respond and let us check one time result and hello we got it then 30 then sorry hello then 10 then 30 so why I got hello first? First time you made a call to add method by using the object of the class z, z dot add. So what is there in add method? It is asking to print hello. That's what it is printed. And the second step here, add of 10 means single parameter you are sending, value 10 is sending. And that 10 value goes here and that value will be printed. Thus value is here, output. And the check out the third time again you made a call to add method. This time you are sending two parameters, 10 comma 20. What's happening is the call goes to this particular method and the 10 and 20 will go to A and B respectively. 10 plus 20 is 30. That's what we have printed and that the 30 value is what we are getting. 